Yesterday we took a look at that that we are in need of a redeemer. Today I want us to look at that we are in need of a reconciler. Imagine that there is a broken relationship in your life and you are completely at fault. It is totally your fault. This is where the concept of reconciliation comes in. We need somebody to reconcile us in this relationship. We just passed Christmas and invariably, may, you probably had this in your family as well, you open up the present and as you open up the box of the shiny new electronic and turn it on for the first time, it doesn't work. You need the manufacturer to reconcile the issue, right? It wasn't your fault. You open it up brand new out of the box. We had that in, in, in our household. We had a DS that was given to our son that was broken. It looked good. It looked good on the outside. It turned on just fine. You put a game in it. You could see the game square. You clicked on it and white screen. Absolutely nothing. We need the manufacturer to reconcile the situation. This is the same situation in our life with God. Here's how Paul described it. He says that you, who once were alienated and hostile in mind, doing evil deeds. Again, just like yesterday, you may, may say, man, this picture's over the top. Hostile in mind towards God, evil actions, come on. Really? Is that my life? See, that's our, that's our fundamental problem. Myself, I grew up in church, have a hard time conceptualizing this for my own life. And maybe you grew up in church, or, or, or maybe you didn't grow up in church, but you just say, you know what, I've tried to do good enough in my life that, that sure, I have some things wrong, but to go hostile in mind towards God or doing evil actions, that's, that's difficult to swallow, that's difficult to grasp. But consider this, I think that in, on the inside, deep down, if we, if we let ourselves pause and reflect and think about it long enough, when we think about ourselves compared to God, that really, there's no other way to look at it. That God created us perfect. And He expected a perfect creation. And we went off and broke it. And we did the wrong. It wasn't him. It was all us. And then maybe if the, even if this is the first time we've considered ourselves hostile in mind towards God, as you go, yeah, that's what it is. That really is what it is. And that you realize that we're in need of reconciliation. And you see, it's really a Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde thing. And one moment that just like yesterday, what we talked about, we feel like we're being oppressed by sin and that it's, it, 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 it's something we can't overcome and that it masters us and that no matter where we turn and no matter what we do, that we cannot escape it. But in the next moment, in the next breath, we say, oh yes, it is completely my fault. It is completely something that I go off and do, that, that, that it is all me. And I know I feel like this same thing in my life lust and, and ego and pride and anger that in one moment it's like this gorilla that hides and that just leaps on my back from nowhere and that I am oppressed by it but in the very next moment I go absolutely not I'm the one that's hostile in mind which one is true they both are they absolutely both are and we need somebody that can deal with both issues.